Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulous Project Zomboid Peach Mall 2.0 save file As always let us continue at the end of last episode I believe we did some organization uh, Brought home quite a bit of loot and quite a bit of food And we will continue doing as we have been Which is uh, that good old looting mechanism Moving out, getting some good stuff, coming home with it And making our way and edging our way ever slowly toward the mall and uh things have been going pretty well for our sur survivor here mathis morgan i think yeah mathis morgan that's a terrible name actually oh we actually haven't gone to bed yet let's actually do that right now he's gonna end up sleeping a little bit later than i'd like him to primarily because he's sleeping two hours later than i wanted him to but we did that because he ended up staying up later doing the loot run and then organizing so i kept him up a little bit later than i intended to but that's fine we can get all that fixed up and no time, essentially, will be fine. Just means that the uh, the next day, as far as looting is concerned, is not going to be uh, the most productive as it could be. See, we could have been out like two or three hours prior to this. Uh, but oh well, that's fine. Uh, let's get a nice early breakfast, a nice delicious early breakfast. I'm thinking something that we've cooked already before it starts to go bad. Didn't I? Let's take a look. What do we got? A couple steaks. That's it? We don't have anything else? Really? I thought we had more cooked stuff. Apparently I was wrong. Oh well, let's uh, go ahead and put it to good use and eat a steak for breakfast. Steak and eggs would be great, but unfortunately eggs is not a possibility for us right now. But that'll give us a nice, delicious, uh, well-fed boost. And we have lots of soda to carry us through the day. Um, I just want to make sure we're going through our perishables when we have the opportunity to so they don't end up rotting on us over time. So, like I said, continuing on, we have been doing a very good job of clearing out the areas. Uh, the houses have been basically looted to Kingdom Come. And we only have a few more within the nearby zone that uh, I think we actually need to loot. We're also really pushing that sprinting ability as much as possible. I need to get level 1 sprinting. Level 1 blunt, level 1 sprinting is basically bare minimum for long-term survival, in my opinion. Uh, the sprinting allows you to run a lot faster and for a lot longer. And just even having that one point in it is uh, stupidly useful. So we're going to go out of our way to make sure that that happens. And we're going to go ahead and kill off whatever zombies show up uh, on the path. Hello, beautiful. Now that is why I loot zombie bodies when I have the opportunity to. The axe, baby. That axe. Oh, that is so fucking good. Awesome. Well, for now, we'll uh, take out still some zombies along the way. That axe is going to be our backup. I don't want to start using it right away. It's going to end up killing our, uh, um, killing our, the blade itself, dulling the blade, breaking the axe. I don't want to do that yet. I'm not ready to do that yet. But damn, man. That is awesome. Now, if we can get super duper lucky, we'll get a second one. Doubt it's going to happen. Gonna try anyway. Wow. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Ugh. It never ceases to put a smile on my face when I find an axe. No, how many, no matter how many hours I've put into this game, no how many, how many lives I've gone through, and safe houses I've built, and zombies I've killed, finding an axe is always one of the best feelings, because it just, it really does amp up your survivability by just tenfold. I now feel so much more confident to ha that I have an axe. It means construction is something we can work on. Uh, we can start chopping down trees and all kinds of good stuff. And uh, we will. We will be doing that. All right, let's let our character catch his breath for a bit. Only going to walk. Um, we're just going to go up the road a bit. I am panicked, but that's because we do have that panic trait. He's panicking over nothing. Now, I need to find the houses I have not touched. Now, we're coming up to this cul-de-sac area. Let's hit this house up here. Pretty sure we haven't been in this one. Door is shut. Let me just check the door to see if I didn't shut it myself. I didn't. So let's see if we can pop this open. Okay. Oh, an alarm went off last time. That's right. That's right. So we shouldn't have any issues. I'm actually going to go around the house and check in the windows. See if there's any zombies that I can see. If the answer is no, I feel pretty confident just popping in through that open window. Now, the problem with this window is that the visibility is cut by this wall here, which is why I wanted to go around. Uh, let's go ahead and close... The window. Let's loot the hell out of it. Um, let's go ahead and check this area. Pretty good. Nothing in here. Keep looking. Nope, we're good. A worm. No thank you. Corn is slowly starting to rot, I think. 
That's what I saw. Let's keep uh, checking out Ooh, bullets. More bullets. That's 20 freaking pistol rounds right away. That is a beautiful thing. And this house is done. All right, nice and easy. Let's head next door. Ooh, this one has a shed. Uh, is there a window to the shed or just the door? Oh, there's a window. Is there even anything in here to worth looting? Let's see. There is. Nothing here. It's all right. It's still worth checking. Bathroom. Could go in through the bathroom, but I'm going to try and make it a point to, to check through the windows. This looks actually pretty damn safe. None of these are open, it looks like. Let's pop in. See, I didn't really feel the need to uh, check through all the windows because this one had a beautiful view. And it's the same house layout as the other one, for the most part. Very similar. A uh, big hiking bag would be wonderful if I didn't already have one. These are all empty, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's nothing on them. This is a bathroom, which I've already looked in. I know it's safe. Keep that door open. Nothing in these shelves. Wow. Eggplant and mayo. I'll take it. Food is food. Now, we're getting close. All right. Big, big house. Uh, I'm going to employ a couple of tactics here that I typically uh, only save for bigger ones. First and foremost is window check. So, going around, checking each window, taking a look inside, ensuring that I can't see any immediate threat. Luckily, this is a pretty big house with one big wide open room. So this room is almost definitely safe. Can't really see, oh, there's a window to this bathroom. Can't really see down this tiny hallway, but the rooms all look pretty fucking empty. So we're good there. Oh, there is a zombie. That's making his way around. Oh, a couple zombies. Scared me. Killed him off. That was actually very lucky of us. Go ahead and wait and take him out. Come on. Good thing we caught them before they started banging on the windows. All right. Back to what we were doing. Pop this window open. A window, any window. This one's actually unlocked right there, but that's fine. We got into this one anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I usually don't do this unless the house is big, is I'm going to go around and smack on each of the doors. The reason I'm doing this, and I granted I've already looked in a lot of these rooms, but I'm going to do it anyway, um, is to possibly and hopefully stir up any zombies there may or may not be in the rooms that I wasn't able to see. And what will luckily happen if there are zombies while I loot this room is they'll make their way over to the door or to a window and they'll start banging on it because they heard noise. And if that's the case, I'll know that they're in there and I can be a little bit more cautious with myself. Now, it looks like I was pretty right in hearing that there were, or, and assuming that there were very little zombies around as I'm not getting any noise from any of the areas. So we should be good. I am going to pull this into my bag and start cooking it. Another steak to replace the steak that I ate this morning. Now the electricity actually might be out. Oh no, the electricity's on. I lied. So while that's cooking, I can loot the rest of the house. Cooking is going to take a long time. I don't need, and I really only need to speed up time to cook it when I'm not looting, but we're fine. So the extra knife could be good. That's useful. Whiskey bottle is going to be useful later for when I want to fill it with water. And I could check the rest of the rooms while the steak continues to cook. Again, now I, I, I can feel pretty safe going into these rooms. Don't really need to worry about any zombies kind of attacking. I'll take the sleeping tablets. And uh, there we go. Nothing in here. Only one more, but I assume is the pantry. Nothing. All right, we're good. Oh, wait, there's one room. Wait. Oh, no, I checked it. Never mind. Okay, so let's pop the oven open. I'm getting hot. It's cooking. I can speed it up, uh, speed it along a bit. Okay, it's cooked. Can turn it off. And we'll take the steak. Beautiful. House completely looted in the safest, most methodical manner that I've been able to devise upon playing this game. So it's a common practice, I'd think, uh, for hardcore survival simulator kind of players is just ensuring complete and utter safety. Now, this door is open. For a second, I thought it was broken. 
Um, I want to make sure there's no other door here that I forgot to crack open. Nope. All right, so let's continue on. There are quite a few Zeds over here. That's a, not necessarily surprising. The alarm probably dragged them through the woods. They got distracted and forgot to continue on uh, the direction they were going. By the time they got to where they were, the alarm probably stopped and they got distracted. A couple good easy two-shot kills. I'll take those any day of the week. Not so much on that one. Very bloody zombie, though. Easily pull these guys away. They're spread out enough that I can pull them between each other and take them one at a time and at least do some damage, if not outright kill them. Always spin around when you have the opportunity. Two for one. Both went down. I'll take it. Well, let's see if we get it, if we get lucky again and get a second axe. All right. Interesting. Just wearing a lot of bling. No zombies, unfortunately, or no axes, rather, unfortunately. I'll take the beta blockers. That'll help with the panic. Is this window open? Have I been in here? Oh, is this the alarm house, actually? This might have been the alarm house. So I'm going to want to go back down that other way and see what other houses I may have missed. It's also getting really stupidly late. Um, if the door's shut and the window's open, I'm assuming this was the alarm house. I'm pretty forgetful. The zombie coming on down, but I'm going to swing into the house real quick and close the window. Yep, this is not looted, but the window's open. Some good food here. We got to make our way back home already. Nothing here. Be very careful. Bathroom zombies have been my demise in the past, and I guarantee they will be yours eventually. All right, let's go. Hey, buddy. No, thank you. Nice, easy kill. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, we'll come back and check out a couple of the houses down south that we haven't really looted before. Um, really? Wasn't I just in this house saying that? Didn't I loot this house? Yeah, I, I was. I'm going to swing in and come out the front door so I don't see that door being shut every single time. And confusing the F out of myself. There we go. So let's head home. That was a good loot session. Yet again, uh, this game has been be has been very kind to me over the past. Oh, the raw chicken and cook. Oh, over the past uh, few episodes, as far as food and loot is concerned, I'm very happy with it. Um, it's been, I guess, the lucky trait might be outweighing um, the extremely rare loot rate, or maybe it's keeping the electricity on a little longer. I forgot that I actually took the lucky trait until just now, so I'm curious what that's affecting. Might have affected the fact that we got an axe. Need more nails and uh, and I need a, a hacksaw still before we can really do any construction. All right, my character needs to get home and get to bed. He's gonna be on this awful uh, 2,200 hour sleep cycle that I don't want him on. I want him in bed by eight o'clock, not ten, because if he goes to bed at ten, he doesn't wake up till ten, and it means less time to loot. I like to go out early morning or less daylight. And I shouldn't say less time; it's about the same amount of time every time. Um. But less daylight to loot in, which is a much safer strategy when heading out in this game. Where'd you come from? Hey, buddy. Down you go. Come on. Nothing there. Down you go. Oh, stay down. Nothing. I don't mind the wandering zombie every so often on the road. It's uh, Every time I see one that's just alone, it's just uh, in my mind, I just get that inkling that there might be an axe on them. The promise of an axe just makes gameplay so much better. At least for me, anyway. Should be getting pretty close. Is that a car park or whatever you guys called it? Car hood, car tent, car camping spot. I don't know. I guess it should be the train tracks right about here. So you can see the little look over there. So, the more we can start seeing them, the closer we get. If I really wanted to, I could try to push the view forward a bit, and we should be up the next house on our left-hand side. I love that this is such a straightaway, too, for looting. I can't get lost nearly as easily as I typically do. Granted, it means when we do eventually go away from the straightaway, I'm going to get lost super easily, but for now, it's nice. In we go. 
Let's actually put away our perishables. Broccoli, cabbage, mayo. Chicken, corn, eggplant. Leek, radish, steak, tomato. I don't think we have anything else. We've been putting everything in the bottom bag, so. And it's been working nicely for us. Okay. Everything else can go into this one. I think this one. Chips. Keep the soda on me. Peanut butter. TV dinner. Whiskey bottle. Oh, I missed the instant popcorn. In here, garbage bag. Beta blockers will keep on me. Sleeping tablets, not so much. We'll put the books in their proper space. Antidepressants, not so much. Books, on the other hand, we'll go ahead and slap these in here. I want to give this full graphic. I want to look like it has tons of books in it. Yeah. Perfect. Let's get our character in bed. A little bit later than I, I would like, but it works. I like this whole an episode a day of looting thing. This episode went by a little bit quicker. Um, I'm ending it a little bit earlier than I'd like to, but I'm going to let him go to sleep so we don't have to worry about that the next time we play. I am going to end up wrapping this episode up here, though. Only about 16 minutes, 30 seconds in, but it's been a good looting run. We did a very good job. We have a lot of stuff now, which is nice, and I feel confident in our in going forward with an axe in our inventory, as well as all this backup food and drink. If you guys enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. Come back tomorrow for some more daily prison, oh, prison architect, Project Zomboid. And consider hitting a like, as it helps me out a great deal, and uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.